Hello everyone. Welcome to Delhi Current Affairs series. Today we will discuss about 29th July Current Affairs. Myself Sunny Sandhi. Welcome to my channel Gear Up for Group One Exam. Let us discuss the today's important current affairs. The first one, Dare to Dream. Here we have to know about some great personalities like Dr. A. P. J. Abdul Kalam. Here there is a organization called defense research and development organization that is drdo has launched its innovation contest dare to dream 2.0 here is the remembrance of fifth death anniversary of apj abdul kalam here the dare to dream is an open challenge to promote the individuals and startups for innovation in defense and aero aerospace technologies in the country here APJ Abdul Kalam ji is also known as a missile man of India that's why to promote the individuals and startups for innovation in a defense and aerospace technologies in the country here it is a open challenge that for the awardees for start startups 10 lakhs and for individuals 5 lakhs here the famous quote by shri abdul kalam ji is dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is sometime something that it does not let you sleep here it is also my favorite quote that is dream is not that which you see while sleeping it is something that it does not let you sleep if you know about this true meaning of this quote then you can achieve anything here if you know about this great personality dr apj abdul kalam ji he is from poor background he studied in a rural area after that he achieved many heights he is also worked as a president of india he is also known as a missile man of india that's why we have to dream our goal then only we will achieve anything that's why we have to take away from this great personality that is dream that your goal then we can achieve that goal next one b i s care that is a mobile app launched by consumer affairs minister launched the bureau indian standards mobile app that is bis here bis is a statutory body established in 1987 under the bis act bureau of indian standards act 1986 previously isi act is there it is now it is replaced by bis that is bureau of indian standards here the headquarter is it is located in new delhi what are the functions and objective to, objective of this bis is for achieving harmonious development of the activities of the standardization certification ma marking and quality certification of goods here i will give a simple example like whenever you are buying any goods you are search for isi mark that is indian standard institutions that means that is some have if that mark is there isi means mark is there means it has a some good quality and it is a approved one and it is also a authenticated one that's why it is a like a uh, for standards good standards now it is isi is replaced with bis that is bis bureau of indian standards that is consumer affairs minister has launched a mobile app that is bis care here i have made a previous video on this 25 leg regulators in a india i will give a link in the description please do watch it then you will know about like regulators like sebi reserve bank of india rbi nabard bis and many thing there are total 25 regulators in india in that video i have made a clear explanation about every regulator you can watch in my previous video that is 25 regulators in india i will provide link also in description please do watch it next one bulk drugs and medical devices parts here india last month in may in june india has banned 59 chinese apps at that time one chinese minister has said that china is not depending on india even though india is more dependent on china why because on these drugs only here india is known as a heart of medic 
pharmacy or a hub for pharmacy even though it is mainly dependent on medical equipments like ksms dis and api size on china only here that's why in the series in the part of atmanirbhar bharat the production linked incentive schemes for promoting domestic manufacturing like ksms dis apis here the scheme for promotion of bulk drug parks emphasizes creation of three bulk drug parks in the country here there is a incentive that is production linked incentive scheme for promoting domestic manufacturing of medical devices here the, the main theme is to boost the domestic manufacturing of medical devices in our four targets <coughs> four target segments they are ksms dis apis this is regarding bulk drugs and medical devices parts next one pre packs what is this pre packs here pre pack is an agreement for the resolution of debt of a distressed company through an agreement between secured creditors and investors instead of public bidding process here suppose i have taken a loan from a bank or any investors or any creditors i am unable to repay that loan then that may we will we will call it as a npa or a distressed one hey, suppose if I, i didn't pay for any one year two year or some particular stipulated time then that creditor will go for a bidding process here in this pre packs there is no there is no public bidding process instead of that there is a agreement between secured creditors and investors and debt of a distressed company here that is the pre about the pre packs here the minister of corporate affairs mca has set up a committee to look into the possibility of including the pre packs under the current insolvency reserve here there is a insolvency that is insolvency and bankruptcy code 2016 to offer the faster insolvency resolution under the insolvency bankruptcy code that is ibsc as in our previous current affair i have discussed about 25 regulators in that i have explained about this one also that is insolvency and bankruptcy code please do watch it don't forget here any other country is, is implementing this pre packs here if you see that this system of insolvency proceedings has become increasingly popularly in uk and europe and the european union over the past decade over the last 10 years that's why india also want to implement this pre packs in the insolvency process that's why pre packs came into our news next one in the series of previous paper analysis we will discuss the 94th question that is which of the following statements are correct about the deposits of the methane hydrate the first option is global warming might trigger the release of the methane gas from these deposits and second one large deposits of methane hydrate are found in the arctic tundra under the sea floor third one methane is in atmosphere oxidizes the to carbon dioxide after a decade or two here yeah, select the correct answer using the code given below before going to answer this question we will see the background background of this methane hydrate or methane clathrate methane clathrate also called as a methane hydrate hydromethane methane ice free fire ice natural gas hydrate or a gas hydrate is a solid clathrate compound in which a large amount of methane is trapped within a crystal structure of a water forming a solid similar to ice that's why we will call it as a methane hydrate or a methane ice or fire ice here these three options are given here right are correct one that's why we will put as a d as the correct option that is 1 2 3 is the correct option global warming might trigger the release of methane gas from the these deposits and large deposits of methane hydrate are found in arctic tundra under the sea floor methane in atmosphere oxidizes to carbon dioxide after a decade or two these three options are correct we will put as d as the correct option with this we can conclude our video thanks for watching like share and subscribe to my channel gear up for group 1 exam this is sunny sandeep signing out take care and bye bye